So this is an Instagram post by James Lindsay. So he basically shares something that Robert Reich, uh, former labor secretary under Bill Clinton, had posted. So in this thing, Robert Reich says, here's what Elon Musk fails to understand. Much of a corporation's value lies in their workers, knowledge, skills, and ideas. When he fired half of Twitter's war workforce and drove off even more, he wasn't cutting costs. He was actively destroying what he bought. James Lindsay's response to that was irrelevant communist gnome ways in. Problem with that is that James Lindsay is going to discredit himself in the future with these kinds of sensational posts. Robert Reich is, if anything, like moderate left. He believes in a good uh, welfare state, but to claim that he's communist, right? it's like claiming that Bill Clinton is communist, it may help him get short term gains and make uh, James Lindsay seem exciting, but it's just not going to be accurate to serious people long term. Here are posts, uh, or here's comments from some of James Lindsay's followers. He confuses being on the payroll payroll versus providing value to the company, talking about Robert Reich. Much of a company is made of dead wood. You have to get rid of it. Again, these people know nothing about Twitter's employees. Accusing them of being dead wood is sensational, and it's not well thought out. It's sloppy, if anything. Uh, James Lindsay has really shifted the last few years. At one point, he was big in the like new atheist movement, but he's gotten like really loud and aggressive and he's definitely gotten in more with the right-wing crowd he's been very supportive of trump marjorie taylor green all that type of stuff here's another thing that james lindsay shared so here you have it's supposed to be someone that went to college you think i paid sixty thousand dollars a year to an elite university only to be lied to with the answer yes again you don't have to agree with every single thing that's taught in a sociology course there's some stuff that's contestable but the idea that every single person that went to a university was lied to, like, who, think about who that's going to appeal to. That's going to really appeal to people who never went to college. They haven't received any type of specialized training or knowledge. We think that their knowledge is just as good as that of, like, a historian or someone who has studied political science in depth, someone who is an expert in a subject that has a master's degree or a Ph.D., Again, you don't have to agree with every idea in every sociology class. In every sociology class, I might agree with some of it, disagree with some of it, but this is just sloppy. This is just sloppy and inaccurate right here. Here you have James Lindsay sharing something that Sam Harris uh, had posted. <coughs> he had said, "Is it time to let Alex Jones back on Twitter at Elon Musk? If not, why not?" And he also, he basically retweeted that and said, I'm getting the feeling that few people misunderstood the purpose of this question. The purpose seemed to be that he was implying like some people are so dangerous to the public that they don't need to be given a platform. Again, Alex Jones, he argued that uh, the parents of Sandy Hook children were crisis actors. And these people were getting harassed horribly. Uh, it's completely reasonable for someone to say Twitter's a private platform and they don't need to allow Alex Jones. Here's uh, James Lindsay going after Sam Harris saying it was so it was to socially justify legitimation by pathology, an innate sense of certainty that some people know better than others whose ideas don't deserve to be heard. Now, I'd argue that there are well-informed people out there who can at least I don't I won't say everyone that posts something controversial needs to be kicked off uh, these platforms. But Alex Jones, that shouldn't even be controversial. James has definitely gone after a targeted audience of people that are generally far right. Uh, I'd recommend someone like Coleman Hughes or Sam Harris way over someone like James Lindsay, who appears to have sold his soul to far right conspiracy theorists to gain an audience. I don't think James will be around too long. At least, well, what I mean by that is he won't be around to like share ideas. He won't remain popular or relevant for very long.